Hi guys. It is another just yuck, gray, cloudy, dark, depressing day here in the end times in paradise in uh, Garfield, Texas. But at least for the first time in four days, we're actually going to see temperatures break the 50 degree mark. So all is not lost. Maybe I can actually walk outside uh, today. Uh, so anyway, Wednesday, of course, is the, this is Wednesday, February 14th. <clears throat> uh, it's the day I bring you my climate change meltdown roundup rant. And good God, this is gonna take me two hours to put this thing together. Uh, but before I dive into that, I just want to dive into my Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag to see what's on the minds of alert listeners. And good Lord, uh, we have 83 comments on my interview uh, with climatologist Andrew Glickson uh, that I put on yesterday. If you have not seen that interview with climatologist Andrew Glickson. I send you over there. So anyway, I always like it when, you know, what I, the, the reason I do this channel, guys, is to keep the debate going uh, that no one's having. So we, there was a long running conversation between Lieutenant Valhalla and, uh, Art McTeagle. Art, I, I don't know how long Art has been a uh, has been a tribes member, but we do appreciate uh, all of his comments. So we're gonna see what Art. This is out of the middle of this long exchange between Art and Valhalla and, and others. Okay. So he's talking about the, they're talking about the interview I had with Andrew Glickson. Take it away, R. So recall in the interview, Andrew Glickson said he has dealt with it, meaning dealt with all of the, uh, devoting his entire life to chronicling the collapse of a planet, is what he means by it. Uh, Andrew Glickson said he's dealt with it for so long now that it's like being in water. <laughs> After a while, you don't feel wet. Most of Humpty Dumpty tribe must be feeling similarly. This should be the main news in the world. Glickson more or less said this is our last small chance. We have to go into a world war type of global mobilization. Pull out all the stops. Ain't gonna happen. We will become a whole planet of ruins. Yet another one consigned to the dustbin of galactic history. And then he um, adds a Farley Moat quote. Farley Moat, I haven't read anything from Farley uh, in, in too many years. I might have to dig up some Farley for a doomsday sermon, but let's hear uh, Art McTeagle quoting Farley Moat. Quote, we're under some misconception that we are a good species going somewhere important and that at the last minute we'll correct our errors and God will smile on us. It's delusion. That is exactly what it is, Farley and Art. I, 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 anybody thinking, why the fuck would God smile on us? I, I, you know, we're the biggest mistake God has ever made in, in his entire fucking life. Uh, it's like, you know, you, you buy a new 
uh, Lamborghini, you, you take it off the showroom lot and you plow it in uh, to an 18-wheeler. You, you know, you just made the biggest fucking mistake in your life. Are, are you going to smile on it? Think of the biggest fucking mistake you have ever made in your life. Good God, uh, I, I have such a long list of those. And, and think how many times did you smile on it? And, 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 and that is the chance that whoever the fuck uh, these clueless morons, whether it be Jesus or uh, the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus or the fucking Tooth Fairy uh, are, are going to smile on us. We're going to get every goddamn thing we deserve uh, from everybody, from God to Jesus to uh, the Tooth Fairy. Uh, everything we deserve coming down in spades on our goddamn clueless moron heads here in the fucking Marana scene. Uh, Jesus, I get so sick of this. Uh, you know, even Clive Hamilton in my Sunday sermon uh, was, was uh, appeared to be holding out some sort of hope for some last minute salvation. As the doomsday clock sits at 11.58 p.m. officially, although I put the goddamn doomsday clock uh, at about 3 o'clock in the morning after midnight, not, uh, not, not before. Uh, we hit doomsday about 1970. And uh, all we're going to see from here on out is uh, this, this God cleaning up the goddamn mess uh, that the biggest mistake she ever made is making of this planet. But anyway, <clears throat> I want to thank Art McTeagle for weighing in. And I once again want to thank climatologist Andrew Glickson for spelling out how we are so fucked on this planet. And with that, I'm going to come back uh, here in a few minutes with uh, my climate change meltdown roundup rant. Good God. Uh, well, in a minute, in about two hours. Bye, guys.